Behind me, we have a herd of cattle grazing down some grass. Now they're taking in organic matter from the plants, digesting it, and then passing it out through manure. Now manure is very powerful for adding nutrients to the soil. However, it's more beneficial for that manure to be integrated into the soil. One way this can happen is by dung beetles moving the manure from the top of the soil into the soil profile. And that's exactly what we're talking about today in this video. We'll be talking about the benefit that dung beetles bring to our farm. Dung beetles are an important insect for improving soil quality uh, and fertility. They carry out two main functions. The first one is that the dung beetles can eat um, the livestock manure. Now this allows the manure to be converted into a form that is more available to um, plants and microbes. The second function is that the dung beetles can move the manure from above the uh, soil surface into the soil profile. So they can move the um, dung right into uh, the soil. Now this allows the uh, dung to be more incorporated into the soil profile. So without the second function, the uh, manure or the dung will just sit on top of the soil. Uh, and this wouldn't allow the uh, manure to be um, incorporated within the uh, soil. So by the dung beetles incorporating the manure into the soil profile, we'll get a number of different benefits. So the first one is that we're going to increase the soil organic matter throughout the soil profile. Now this is important because we're not just getting a buildup of soil organic matter at the top, we're getting it throughout uh, the soil. So we're getting it down to 30 centimeters and even up to 50 centimeters deep into the soil. Now that's quite deep for the soil organic matter to move down to, but this will build the soil fertility all the way down to half a metre. So that's quite deep um, and really good for uh, plant roots that move all the way down into um, the lower depths of the soil. So one of the massive benefits we get from our dung beetles is that they actually remove um, and eat the uh, manure. Now this has a significant uh, effect in reducing disease uh, and flies. So essentially we're removing the uh, growth medium for disease uh, and flies. So an example of this is breaking the life cycle for worms. So worm eggs we found in manure which are passed out by cows that have been infected uh, with worms. And so what the dung beetles will do is that they'll break down the manure and dissipate it across um, the soil and incorporate it into the soil as well. And so um, another function that the dung beetles will do is that they'll also eat the eggs. So the worm eggs. So this is going to reduce the disease um, load um, across the paddock. And by reducing the growth medium, we're going to be reducing disease load. Now this has a flow on effect to our animal health. Since we're reducing um, pathogens and disease, we're going to be um, preventing our animals from getting sick. Next, we're going to increase nutrient availability to our plants. So the dung beetles are going to digest the manure and form a more uh, readily available um, compounds for plants and microbes. So we're going to increase the cycling of nutrients uh, from plant matter into our, our livestock and then back into the soil to our plants. And so these guys are going to facilitate um, the process of taking it from the manure uh, into a um, compound within the soil that can be picked up uh, by our plants. So we're going to in increase nutrients. Next is we're going to increase the soil structure. Now this is a flow on effect from soil organic matter and that is the increase in soil organic matter is going to bind uh, soil aggregates together, forming uh, stable aggregates. Furthermore, the tunneling and uh, digging of the dung beetles are going to uh, increase the uh, drainage. Lastly, the incorporated manure throughout the soil profile is going to act as a sponge and this is going to increase our water holding capacity. Now that's going to act as a reservoir for plants which can then access um, the water in that for later. So with all these benefits, uh, we're really going to want to increase the population size of our dung beetles. And to do this, we can, um, firstly what we can do is introduce dung beetles uh, into our farm. And we can do that by contacting a dung beetle uh, distributor. And so pretty much they um, pretty much grow dung beetles. Now it is important to understand the dung beetles and the other insects on your farm as the species of the dung beetles and other insects will vary between regions. Um, so it's important to firstly understand uh, what you have on your farm and what's going to suit your farm before you start introducing um, different insects. So this is really good to introduce um, diversity of insects, but unless we set up proper systems to keep them there, we're going to lose them. So one way we can promote their population is by implementing uh, rotational grazing. Now it's best to uh, have a high stocking density over a short period of time um, in your paddocks. Now what this will do is concentrate the manure in the paddock uh, before they move along. And then it'll also give the um, dung beetles 
uh, a lot of time to uh, decompose all of that manure before the cows come back around. So with this, we want also a high uh, resting time between um, grazings for our paddocks. Now this will give the dung beetles a lot of feed uh, and support a larger population. Lastly, we want to decrease the use of broad spectrum insecticides. Uh, this is because, well, obviously dung beetles are an insect, uh, and so using uh, harsh insecticides are going to kill off dung beetles. If you do need to use insecticides, um, use a um, specific insect insecticide for the specific um, insect that you want to get rid of, or implement different strategies like an integrated pest management plan um, to reduce the um, pest insect. So there we have it, that is the function of dung beetles in our farm. They contribute so many benefits to our farms that we really want to try uh, and support their population size. And we can do that uh, with a number of different, different ways. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to check out some of our other videos. We've got some on animal production, plant production, and even some on regenerative agriculture. So if you like learning about how the dung beetles uh, can naturally improve the fertility within your soil, I highly recommend uh, checking out some of our other videos. Thanks again for watching. My name is Till Simmons uh, from AgriSol and this is Agriculture Explained.